Hey everybody, it is me Gareth back again from Mentalist on a Shoestring. We are here to review a little uh, project which will hopefully help me. As you know, I'm trying to memorize a deck at the moment. December is not the best time to do it. Uh, emotional things, things going on in the family. It's Christmas, everybody's busy, everybody's running around, blah, 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 blah. So um, I spoke to a couple of magician friends as well as having Craig, who is the creator of this effect, pipe up and actually give me some information. We have got the Cy Stebbins or Beyond Stebbins project, which is all about the Cy Stebbins stack. So very handy. Uh, you also get a little card which has a little link to the, um, the site as well as your special code to access it. But if you've bought it through Alakazam, you can download it from your account and play away. And it comes in different download sizes, like really small, all the way up to uh, it's almost 4K Blu-ray uh, version, very big file actually. I went for the three gigabyte version, which is 720, which worked really well. Now, one of the reasons I kind of also wanted to explore the Sty 7s as well as normal mnemonic work uh, was because Adam Dadswell did a release of Perplexions, uh, which I have reviewed here, by the way, go and check that out. And uh, on that, there was a Sty, uh, a Stebbins stack trick he done, which is really, really good. And I found me think like, oh, and they actually talked, and they actually said on the actual Adam Dadwell, Adam's Dadwell's video perplexions, they said about the Cy Stebbins project. So I've been exposed to this for a little while. So for as I'm having trouble getting my memory to work properly, this may give me some stack work, but without all the complex remembering the locations. So uh, this is basically more mathematical. Uh, I'm not mathematically gifted, but uh, it's simple math, so no problems there. But this is all explained in the first video. So once you download the video, I'll get back to the cards in a bit. Once you get the video downloaded, three and a half hours of lots of content, including live performances, which I do believe is very important because that's very good for little nuances and um, Craig does point this out as well. Uh, so basically him and Nevit sit down. Uh, this is shot in the Alakazam studio as well as the Alakazam shop as well. That's where all the live bits is done. Uh, so obviously the first video is really introduction. And then this is about how the stack works, how to set it up, things you need to be aware of, its strengths, its weaknesses are all explained here in very good detail by Craig. If there's one thing Craig does really well, it's fine detail and nuances about what you're learning. So. Well, good as always so first of all the first trick you're going to learn is of course um perfect ritual now word of warning uh, he gets this one out of the way because this one will destroy your stack uh the actual it's a four of a kind revelation with three with three or four people or three people including yourself and of course uh there's an impossible impossible ending which is the deck goes really basically back into new deck order which is kind of handy because uh he does teach how to get a new deck order into Stebbins stack as well. So once it's been done, you can shuffle it, put it in the box, and when you go back, you can then quickly and do it nice and easy. So he does show that as well. The next trick is a very good mentalist trick. This is called Word Up. I'm just checking it as well. Um, this uses the standard stack. You don't need a special deck. The special deck comes a bit later, but we'll get around to that in a second. And this is basically um, uses a crib, which you'll have to make yourself and put on your box and obviously a little pocket dictionary. And this is actually quite a powerful little one. Don't, it's a little bit of work required for this one, but it's worth doing because it's got a really good strong end. Especially with a mentalist, you will like this one. Then of course, we're gonna get into everybody's favorite, the regular deck, which is the uh, Steben Any Card at Any Number. Uh, this is a very clean, strong, easy a can that's easy to do um the stack helps you immensely and this just shows you how powerful it is right the next one is a uh, prediction versus mind reading again another four of a kind style one but it's done with uh a, you have a prediction at the very beginning uh they choose a card and then on the card is uh four sets of numbers and these correspond to locations of the four of the kind that they've chosen in the deck Pretty powerful, actually, very good. Now, the next one is called Freesome Redone. This will require a regular Sty Stevens deck and also a Breather Crimp, which they do teach on here how to do it. because I believe that's one of Nemet's abilities. He's very good with Breather Crimp, so he goes through how this works. It's, ooh, it's also got a teaching of um, Craig Petty's own version of Tilt. He has a slightly modified version he does, which is quite useful and looks quite good actually as well. So you get a little extra bonus in there as well. And the effect itself obviously is very strong and powerful. Uh, we then get beyond 
a can or any card to any number uh this one is uh uses the uh regular no it uses the gaff deck sorry i forgot it's written here as well it actually uses the principles of the gaff deck here as well and again very powerful very clean very commercial which i will say as well now the next one is the vanishing four of a kind this still uses the gaff deck and again this is very easy to do and four of a kind vanish from within the deck but very cleanly no fancy shuffling and hand work which i do like the deck helps you to do this really well whether you could do it with proper sleight of hand i think is possible but the deck just makes it so much easier now as you a commercial table hopper table hopper weddings it really takes a lot of the work out for you makes it very easy then we have a very interesting one which is the easy twin souls which in fact i think that's been going around for a while uh the combination of this deck and the step and stack make it super easy to do and very commercial uh the next one after that i believe is uh hang on, i've got to be careful here because i've got to make sure i don't repeat it uh yeah it's the uh stebbins quartet i believe it's called I'm just looking on my notes here, just bear with me. Oh, Psychic Deck, is it? I don't know, four of a kind, hard one. Yeah, the last one is very, very hard to do. So it's easy twin souls. There's the Psychic Deck as well. Uh, again, uses the Gaff Deck, very powerful little effect. And I think we're getting close. Yeah, I think it's called the Sai Stebbins Quartet, which also uses a regular Sai Stebbins stick as well. But this one, uh, yeah, knuckle busty. Uh, yeah, it's four of a kind trick, but it's a hard one to do. But, you know, if you're willing to take the time and do it, it is well worth doing. So there you have it. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strong Stebbins effects. So what's my take on it? We've been through what's on there. You can go and check it out yourself. I say I'm going to find out, yeah, it's about two hours, 52 minutes. I said about three hours. I did say three and a half, sorry, three hours. Um, let's go over the deck, first of all. Just say so. the deck itself uh, is a standard bicycle back playing card. I got mine in red. You can choose red or blue. The cards do arrive in Stebbins order, so they are pre-made, ready to then. It is an essential set a standard deck of cards but something has been done to these cards to give them a unique property uh, which will be used for some of the other versions of the tricks that where you need that sort of tricks towards the end need the special deck uh, apart from the very last one uh, so these were that but they handle like normal cards uh, like I say you can actually sit there and cut these cards with no problems any cut you like you can do it as long as it's a clean straightforward everyday cut and he does teach oh, i forgot to say he does teach a few uh false cuts and shuffles and some ideas as well for making it appear but as he says if you're not being chased don't run kind of gets it you know if you pull it out it's done and they do talk about deck switching on there as well but the card itself they're pretty good they're standard bicycles um i will say the bicycle quality uh the offset is terrible <laughs> yeah these are for some reason at the moment all these bicycle cards are being badly offset and even now i can see that is not well done at all makes a good one way deck though but good enough for performance and using so yeah the, property, the good thing is if you have your own decks of cards if you use a different make or manufacturer once you get these know how they work you can make it yourself and uh, totally up to you though so uh yeah you know, it does the job it works quite well now obviously uh let's see the video itself now the videos are pretty well shot i do have a few issues with the video this is nothing to do with craig himself um there's a few things i don't like um one is the the when they do the performances they're good they're in widescreen the whole screen's used looks good however the sound not so good i think some of you need to think should have sorted out the microphones a little bit better but hey i use one of these so what can i say uh but i also didn't like was during the actual teaching videos they used this weird little border which squashed the image down and then in the corner was like a little tiny close-up camera they would sometimes swap between the two which was good uh that was fine but the border thing get rid of it it's it's not good just go full screen and it just makes it a little bit easier to see. If you're watching it on a TV, it's fine, but it kept snapping to the border, going back to widescreen, going back to the border. Yeah, get rid of the border, guys. Just do what the 1914 do and just have a standard, no, no mess, no fuss. But the idea of the camera in the corner is good though. I did like that. But even with these, the audio quality again was not brilliant. Now it doesn't affect the teachings. It doesn't really distract. You can still hear what's going on. Uh, you can still see what's going on, but I think they just need to change that a little bit, but that's personal preference. Uh, but overall, uh, the teaching was fantastic. 
Uh, the cards are okay. Yes, they are a little bit offset, but that's bicycle cards in general, but still more than usable. No problems at all. If you want to make your own, can be done, so it's not a problem. But overall, very high quality information, which I think is the key thing with the size Stebbins. It's useful. Uh, it's super commercial. I've noticed Craig went for all the really commercial effects in here. You do get to learn his uh, his version of tilt. You do learn to leave about breather crimps as well, which can be used with other effects, which is nice. And you've got a huge set of very strong Steven style magic, which will hopefully get you uh, to perhaps go a bit further. But as an introduction to stack work, I think this is really good. Perhaps this is where I should have started first and then worried about my memorization of the stuff next year and got it then. But it's just one of those things. But now I then recommend it to any card worker who's been doing, you know, it's not, it's designed for beginners, intermediates. I think advanced will probably know all this already, but it might be worth getting because of the commercial routine. So overall, I really liked it. Fantastic effect. Shout out, shout out to Craig for doing that. Uh, that's that's a good one. Hopefully they'll do more. Just need to work on the video, but that's down to Alakazam, not Craig Petty. But to be honest with you, the information was there. If it was audio, it was fine. No problems at all. So I really liked it. Uh, it's definitely helped me out of a little spot and it will obviously give me something useful for later. So then guys, that is the end of the review. Um, I've got a feeling this may be the last review until after Christmas. I'm still working on the Raymond deck. I want to bring that in a bit later. I need to spend some time with that one. But there we go, guys. Have a fantastic one. Um, you can do buy me a, if you want to help support the channel. There's buy me a coffee. I've got the link down in there. It's in the special Facebook group, which has now gone hidden. But if you contact me, I can get you to it. No problems. Uh, just keep posting. Keep having fun, guys. Have a fantastic Christmas. Have a wonderful new year and hopefully more to come soon. So until then, guys, have a good one. Season's greetings. Bye for now. And now you know what's coming, don't you? Yes, it's the close up. Yeah. Check out the magic podcast. Well worth it. And I will catch you all very soon.